Hi guys, Jordi here from Yepa Design and welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you the day for night technique. So when you have filmed during the day, you could make it look like it's an evening or a night scene in post-production. And by the way, we have a brand new website, so make sure you check that out, yepperdesign.com, link is also in the description. Uh, there are many new features on it and we have uh, upcoming designer bundles and don't forget to check out the community forum. It's a great one. Okay, uh, here is the example of what we'll be creating. Now, as you can see, it's a color correction on the video more. Uh, we're going to add some deep blue colors to it so it looks like it's night. Okay, so I'm going to drag my video to my timeline, double click on it, uh, go to effects, then uh, go to video filters, color correction. We're going to add the color corrector three way to it. Just drag that on, onto it go to the uh, color corrector three-way tab so, so you can see these rings. If you don't see it, go to filters, click on visual. Okay, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to make the video darker. I can do this by bringing down the white tones in your image and by bringing down the black tones in your uh, in your image. Okay, now if, you, if your video is too dark you can bring up the mids a little bit. Okay, because when your video is like this, okay, it looks like night, but it's a bit too dark. Okay, we still want to see what's going on in the scene. So you might want to bring it a little bit up. So just play with it, but make sure the blacks and the whites are always beneath the zero value. Then the mids, uh, you can play with it until your depends on the video, of course. Okay, now we're going to add a blue color to it. When when you when you think about night, we think about blue colors. Okay, so on the whites, we're going to add lots of blue. Make sure it's not too much because we don't want to want to tint it. We want to color correct it. Okay, so we're going to add a bluish color correction. Okay, well that should do it. Same thing for the mids, also blue, but make it not too much because here again we will have this an overall a bluish color and we don't want that again. Okay, so just a little bit uh, blue, something like that. Okay, and now we'll be going to the blacks and we're not going to make it blue, we're going to make it a little bit red because the sun has just go, uh, come over the horizon and just leaves this uh, very bright um, red, yellow, orange color. Okay, again not too much, we don't want a blood bat, no, we just wanted to highlight a little bit with uh, with red, just a little bit, like that. Now this is already uh, the effect you want or you want to accomplish, but we can we can fine tune it a little bit more. Uh, we can go to image control, take Pro Camp, drag it onto your clip, and the first thing we want to do is bring down the video, because the whites are just too much highlighted for being at night. You can see if I bring it up even more, you can see it's very hard. The the whites are too much, so just bring it down to minus one. And then uh, the last thing you want to do is um, change the setup. If your video is too dark, you could bring this up, but I don't recommend that. That means you you went a little bit wrong on your color correction. So go back to your color correction and just move the mids a little bit more up. Okay, go back to your uh, pro camp. So always stay beneath the zero or on zero okay so it's something like this and this should be the effect what we are trying to accomplish now I think in this scene without many sky in it uh, now if you have a video with many sky in it you need to do sky replacement and then it's got a little bit more trickier in Final Cut Pro then you need to bring up After Effects or Motion or something like that to have it good Okay, now I don't have to complain. Uh, Final Cut Pro has a great composition here. Um, composing, I'm sorry. If you go to compo composite mode, you can do lots of things here. So I think um, sky replacement could be easier in here than in Premiere Pro. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope you learned something out of it. This was Jordi from yepperdesign.com.